The series premiere of Two Something will begin right now. Hey, come on, get up, Donnie. It's my month. What are you talking about? It's the middle of the day. Exactly. It's 12.01. New day, new month, my room. Go in the cave, please. <laughs> Eric, we don't switch rooms, remember? Donnie, why can't we switch rooms? Because this used to be my parents' room, and I'm very disturbed about the idea of you sleeping in my mother's bed. <laughs> Feel my head here. I can't tell if this is part of my skull or not. No, I'm not touching your head. But you have this weird thing here? Yes, I have all that. Everyone has that. I've always had that. Just feel my head for a second. Come on, just no. touch it. Feel... Donnie, come on. No! Just feel his damn head already and shut up! <laughs> tell me why that woman lives in our house again? I don't know. She pays rent. Rent, rent. It's every month with that damn rent. <laughs> Man, it's so repetitive. <laughs> Forget about me. What about the fact that you sleep in your mother's bed? <laughs> Never mind all that. Let's get back in that tomb so you can wake up and support us tomorrow. What are you talking about? What about your job? I got rid of that. What do you mean you got rid of that? They tried to promote me. Why do they always do that? <laughs> Thank God you're out of that job, Donnie. Listen, you don't have any time to be climbing any corporate ladders. You know what I'm trying to say? I mean, you're a photographer. Yeah? I mean, just the fact that you have never had a show, you never sold any photos, you don't plan to have a show, you don't plan to sell any photos. I mean, that doesn't detract from the fact that you are a very skillful and adept voyeur. <laughs> That's right, and you're a writer. I mean, just because you work in a mailroom and, you know, you haven't written much, uh, hardly at all, uh, okay, not one word in many and several years, I mean, that doesn't take away from the fact that you're a brilliant writer. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. See, I'm a writer. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't want you to worry at all, Donnie. You know what? Tomorrow you're going to come to work with me. What do you mean by that? Tomorrow you will come to my job with me at work, and then they will pay you. If they pay me, I will come. <laughs> oh, Donnie, listen, wait. Do me a favor before you go to bed. Just feel my head real quick, right no, here. No, no. Come on, come on! I need to feel it, man. I know what you have. It's a tumor, but they can remove it. They remove mine. U.S. Navy. Today's Navy high-tech training takes you one way. Full speed ahead. You and the Navy. Full speed ahead. Have you heard what Jim's driving? What's he got now? You should see this thing. What an incredible machine. Sleek. Aerodynamic. Fast? Oh, yeah. That baby really moves. So what kind of engine does he have in that thing anyway? Nuclear reactor. Be amazed at what teenagers are driving these days. Right full rudder, steady course, 355 Helm on. For more information, call 1 800 USA Navy. Holy. Same graphics, same moves. It looks like the arcade, man. Uh, okay, man. 16 bits. 16 <gasps> bits. All I can say is. Killer Instinct, only on Super NES, complete with Killer Cuts game music CD. It's totally uncensored. <laughs> so who needs a new system? Thanks. Domino's Deep Dish always gets quite a reaction. Saucy. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> Ultimate <laughs> Deep Dish. Now order a thick, zesty deep dish and get buffalo wings for $1.99. This is deep. Domino! Tonight. You know, you never really buy beer, you just rent it. You're in for a shock. She's a guy. You mean she actually has a, uh, a doodle? Catch the only comedy wild enough to follow Married with Children. Did you get to third base? What? And when you got to third base, was there a man on third? Misery Loves Company premieres tonight on Fox. Good work, Donnie. Excellent. Excuse me, it's Mr. McDougal. Oh, good morning, Jeffrey. Yes. Um, who is the unauthorized person touching the mail? Come on, I know you're in the loop. <laughs> of course I'm in the loop. I know, that's what I love about you, that you know who that is, and yet you don't even care. Oh, no, I care that he's touching the mail. You, step away from the mail. <laughs> It's incredible. Top Brass practically begs this guy to take the job, yet you treat him this way. What do you mean, Top Brass? You're incredible. 
I'm gonna kick him out myself. Oh, no. You, I'm oh, sick of you. You take oh, your beard you... and all your weird, hippie, big, freaky, Welcome to the firm. Sorry, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry about the whole male touching thing. You touch it all you want. I am Jeffrey Crown. Crown? Crown? No coincidence. Nepotism. <laughs> Anywho, I guess I'll just be on my way to personnel to grab you all the necessary forms. And uh, while I'm up there, why don't I say a big hello for you to, uh... Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> nice recovery. That's why you're the boss. I know. All right, now look. This is the corporate finance area, so you want to keep kind of a low profile. Suzette! <laughs> now, seeing as I make way less money than you, if I were to strip you down, bend you over that desk, would that be considered sexual harassment? That's a good one. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Donnie. I'm the new guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's a man. <laughs> Everybody on this floor gets a copy of the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times. If you need... Thanks. I'm Marie Hunter. I'm new to the firm. BSc from Wharton, MBA from Harvard, and two years in M&A at B of A as an AVP. <laughs> Uh, Donnie Reeves, uh, I recently gave someone an IOU and my last girlfriend had an IUD. <laughs> I know you. I've always felt like I know you. <laughs> this is crazy, but uh, like, are we, are we having a, like, like a moment? <laughs> we may have, if you hadn't identified it. <laughs> it's her. It's her? That's the woman that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. <laughs> I'm going to write book after book about only her. I'll enjoy reading all those books. It's open. I am so in love with men and how I deal with them. <laughs> of all the many things we love about you, Evelyn, would that now be our favorite? I think so. I just broke up with Troy, and he doesn't even know. Man, you are good. Through my vast network of contacts, I got Troy transferred to Chicago, a beautiful apartment on Lake Shore Drive, and a six-figure income. You know, the problem with my career is that you've never broken up with me. The problem with your career is that you're incredibly talented and hardworking at taking the photographs, but ridiculously shy about showing the pictures. I'm not shy about showing them. What's in the envelope? Nothing. Donnie, I just saw you put a photograph into that envelope. All right, look, you know, I, I, I entered some photo contest at the Whitney. The Whitney Museum, Donnie? That's great. Look, I mean, I finally realized that I got to start showing my work to a wider audience than you, Eric, and my mother. <laughs> Everyone, stop! All right, sit down, sit down. As you know, I've been a writer for many, many, many years now. I've been a little frustrating uh, not having actually written anything. But, but, but you guys know I'm in the germinating stage of the process. You know, you know the, the attaining, the experiencing, the hoarding. You know, the time when I sit back and I, I just grab and I gnaw at the life and I say, I say, I say, give me the life. I want to suck you in. I want to envelop you. <laughs> See, that's, that's all changed now. I have spewed forth into the most noble and vital of callings. <laughs> I have written. Yes. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> you ready? Maria. By Eric McDougall. <laughs> There's this woman. There's this woman. There's this woman. You like it? It's outstanding. Evelyn? Well, I, I mean, uh, it's great. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, um, what, what, what you have is, 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 is really good. Yeah? I was just wondering if maybe there was... Oh, I don't know. Is there any more? Oh. Evelyn! <laughs> I've known this woman for 10 seconds. More? More happens when I'm around her more. That's the more. Don't touch the animals. <laughs> I've always wondered, Daisy, when you're a dog walker, how do other people's dogs know not to bite you? The same way birds know not to nest in your head. <laughs> 
have you know I get many compliments on my hair. So do the dogs. <laughs> Why do you rent to her? There are so many other better, scary people you could rent to. You could rent to me. Nah, we can never rent to you. Never. Why not? Evelyn, come on. I mean, you've been in love with me for so many years now. I, you know, I just, I feel like you'd be hurt too frequently by the lack of reciprocity. Yeah, they get messy. Eric, I know you believe that I and all women want you. But I'm not in love with you, and I never will be. <laughs> Liar. All right, look, now how am I going to get around that Maria more? Uh, ask her on a date. You can't just ask her on a date. That's not nearly romantic enough for her. Well, why don't you surprise her? I mean, women love surprises. <laughs> Of course, what am I thinking? I surprise her, right? <laughs> All right, thanks. How about this? How about this? I sneak into her apartment, and like, I hide in her bathroom, and when she gets home, I jump out and I yell, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Not romantic enough. I brought you flowers. <laughs> Better, but not as good as crashing this cocktail party the executives are all invited to. High five, self high five. <laughs> Just stay tuned and we'll be right back. second day. Five years ago, I started hauling cars for Saturn. Man, that was something. People wanted to know all about them. What kind of car is that? My father. Can I get it with a sunroof? Can I get one with leather? Yeah, you can get it with fog lamps. And just when I can explain everything about these cars. These are the dent resistant doors. Saturn decides to change things and come out with new ones. <laughs> Oh, well. Here we go again. <laughs> now you can get friends and family's biggest savings by not doing anything at all. You don't have to name anyone. You automatically get our best savings whenever you call any other MCI customer. What you're really saying is that I could sit here on my tuchus and save on my long distance, right? You could say that. Cool. Could you tell me where you are? I feel a little odd. Tonight, Buck goes to doggy heaven. Oh, your father seems to be taking it especially hard. 1,200 bucks for a funeral. Now they're looking for a new family pet. This is a genuine Venezuelan emerald crested cockatoo. Can he roll over and play dead? Buck couldn't do that. Till now. Married with Children, a brand new episode next. This Eagles memorable moment is brought to you by Rosenbluth International, the official travel agency of the Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia had not won a postseason contest in over a decade, but against the Saints in 1993, the Eagles soared. Randall Cunningham threw a 57-yard touchdown bomb to Fred Barnett in the first quarter. And then the Eagles exploded with 26 points in the fourth, including another Barnett score and Eric Allen's 18-yard interception return for a touchdown that sealed the Eagles' victory. Remember that great leather jacket you wanted to wear tonight? Yeah. Sold it. <laughs> Why don't you wear this? I don't want to wear that. Fine, well, I'll wear it. Donnie, could you not touch my thing? <laughs> Evelyn, you told me you were going to save that other jacket for me. Eric, I'm sorry, but store policy prohibits us from holding anything longer than a year. <laughs> but you own the store. Exactly. My hands are tied. <laughs> Evelyn, what is this? Do you have some new boyfriend now? No, Troy. He figured out we broke up, and now he wants to get back together. <laughs> you look great. Maria's gonna love you. You think? Absolutely. Excellent, because I'm gonna ask her to marry me tonight. <laughs> Not on the first date. Absolutely on the first date. No, no, no. I'd be freaked out if some guy proposed to me on the first date. Well, most guys. Well, 
Like you. <laughs> Maybe she's right. Maybe you want to try to just ease into it a bit. How about this? How about this? I walk up, I say, Hi, Maria. I'm Eric. We met at work. Much better. Will you marry me? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, she's not here. She's never coming. I have no girlfriend. I'm leaving. No, 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 no. Come on. Shrimp? Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, can I get one of those? And, and a grape soda. Thanks so much. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Those are Donnie's, but I have a tray coming, and when the waitress comes back, I'm sure she'll get you your own. <laughs> Howard Miller, Miller, Rain, and Meyer. Hi. Eric McDougal, Crown, Fink, and Wagner. Uh, Donnie, just Donnie. <laughs> hey, guys, we got some Crown, Fink boys here. I do some business with Crown Fink. They make a small fortune off me. Oh, I enjoy that. <laughs> what do you guys think of interest rates? Huh. What goes up must come down. <laughs> Spinning wheels round and round. <laughs> so, what department are you boys in over at Crown Fink? Uh, mailroom department. Really? You know, I started in the mailroom, and in 35 years of business, the only honest people I've ever met have worked in the mailroom. I have nothing to say to that. <laughs> Mr. Miller, nice to see you again. Maria Hunter, Crown Fink and Wagner. You remember I was in your debt restructuring meeting. I was the one sitting behind those two people who are sitting behind all the important people. And? And I'm glad you're here because I've been trying to reach you at your office to discuss an uh, Excuse me. I have to mingle with some of those people who were sitting in front of you. <laughs> Surprise! I brought you flowers. <laughs> Thanks. I, I was feeling a little low. Low? Oh, no, I don't think of you as low. I, I think of you as, as, as soaring. I think of you as like a, I don't know, like a, like a, like a purple balloon that just, that just floats higher and higher and higher and then pops. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no one's ever said anything like that to me before. <laughs> ever. That Maria is so in love with me? Do you understand the extent with which I shine last night? That girl has no idea who I am. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, sorry, Mr. Crown. We're just trying to... We're target shooting, Jeffrey. And now you're in the way. So, you're gonna become a target. Donnie? Draw a star on his head. Oh, get the <laughs> Jeffrey? Mm. Do you ever, like, wake up in the middle of the night, run to your mirror screaming in terror, realizing that you are you? <laughs> no, Mr. McDougal, I don't. But I do thank God that after today, I will no longer have to see you in my mailroom. Uh, will you be seeing me, sir? As a matter of fact, no. Outstanding. Where are you going? Uh, well, usually when I get fired, I like to go home and take a nap. No, oh, no, 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 no. There will be no nap. You see, you were not fired. It turns out that last night you impressed Howard Miller, the firm's most important client. He wants you to be junior executives on his account. Executives? You're getting promoted. Well, keep up the good work. Yada, 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 whatever. Promoted. Why does this always happen to me? Wait a minute. What am I thinking? I'm an idiot. Maria. I get to be around Maria. You know, meetings and, and, and seminars and, 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 and coffees and <laughs> various hallway chattings. <laughs> Maria is not going to like you because you're some executive, all right? She's going to like you because of who you are. Huh. Uh, who am I again? You're just your weird self, okay? You know, if you, if you take this job, you turn into Jeffrey. I'm just my weird self, but I'll turn into Jeffrey. Well, well, how long would it take before I turn into Jeffrey? I mean, would it happen right away, or would there be an incubation period? Oh, instant Jeffrey. Come on. Let's just do this temporarily till I can get Maria, and then we'll come back to our regular jobs. Temporarily? Let me tell you something about temporarily, okay? My father wanted to be a musician and temporarily sold insurance his whole life, all right? I mean, your father? The writer? I mean, how long has he been teaching? Temporarily. Yeah, how long? 
Oh, it's like. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you do things too early, okay? I mean, you know, you can just, you know, forget about your writing. I mean, forget about our dreams. You know what? You forget about it. Because I'm going to the boss right now, because I've got a promotion to turn down. Uh, where exactly would I find my boss? I worked my butt off for you for three years. I'm a friendly, affable, hard worker and all that. Bring you another quality, sought-after player to be a member of this team. And you have the audacity to try to promote us? Well, you can keep your golden handcuffs, fella, because we know there's no such thing as temporarily. Yeah. We demand to be demoted back to the mailroom effective immediately. <laughs> and have this promotion struck from our record forever. <laughs> Thank you. Partez, we're back. Hey. What are you doing here? Yeah, we got out of that promotion. But you shouldn't be here. God, I've put up far too long with your disruptive and unruly behavior, and I demand to know why you're here. Why we're here, Jeffrey? Because we love you. <laughs> Sponge? <laughs> Yo, Maria, hey. Eric, Sonny, hey. Hey, what are you doing down here? Well, see, there's this letter that I wanted to send out in today's mail, but I missed last pickup, so I thought I'd come down here and mail it myself. You know I'm lying, don't you? I do now. I'm spying. I just heard you turned on your promotion. I, I wanted to know if that was true. Yeah, we quit that job. <laughs> I couldn't have any of that executive stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, I appreciate that you do it. I mean, I understand there's a, there's a need for it to be done, but I'm a writer. I mean, you know, my father, the teaching, the selling insurance, group therapy. I mean, professionals are helping with a lot of this. <laughs> wow, I've never met anyone who's turned down a promotion. I've never met a spy. <laughs> Good luck with the writing. Thank you. Hello. You must be the new junior associate. Welcome to the firm. I'm Jeffrey Crown, B.A. from Dartmouth, M.B.A. from Stanford, and two summers at F.B.S. and I.B.K. Maria Hunter, I come to work on the R.R.T., and around the first of every month, I get P.M.S. I enjoy my new girlfriend. <laughs> What's in the bag? McDonald's juicy quarter pounder with cheese. Two for two bucks, Mr. Half Size Halfback. Hey, I'll trade your autograph for them. Oh, hey, Mr. Rushmeister. I'll trade your autograph football. Ah, uh, it's not gonna happen, your rocket toast. Season tickets. Got them. Skybox? <laughs> now you can convert two bucks into two hot tempting quarter pounders with cheese. Or two morning fresh sausage McMuffins with egg. But the clock's ticking, so hurry. And this just in. Superstar running back Barry Sanders is involved in some kind of major trade. Have you had your break today? Ready? It's the last night of this century. I'm the magic man. For a man who's seen too much. This is conspiracy paranoia. For a woman who won't back down. Calm down, baby. This is what I do. Strange days are coming. Cheer up, Rose. Go ahead in 10 minutes anyway. Strange days, rated R. Friday, October 13th at theaters everywhere. So I'm going to the Hamptons with Troy this weekend. I'm hoping he'll like me less near water. <laughs> Ellen, why do you insist on rejecting the many boys that enjoy you, only to, like, obsess on the one or two who don't? Hey, who is that guy that you stalked for, like, 16 years? That, 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 that was some, some, some tall guy in a plaid shirt, some, some Richard? Richard? What made you say Richard? Did you see him? <laughs> What is that? Uh, nothing. 
There appears to be a large quantity of film. A year supply, actually. Donnie, where would one obtain a year supply of film? Uh, let's see, maybe, uh, you know, second place in a uh, certain photo contest. Does that mean one of your photos is hanging in the Whitney Museum? Yeah, well, you know, in, in the lobby. Uh, the vestibule that leads to the lobby. <laughs> Hello, does anybody but me understand the hugeosity of this situation? I mean, only in America could Donnie, the poor son of starving Irish potato immigrants. Fourth generation Upper West Side, actually, yeah. Exactly. You're talking about a veritable outcast, all right? No family, no friends, no education. I, I graduated Hunter College. <laughs> Very minimal education. <laughs> and despite all of that, this guy has a picture that he took hanging in the biggest museum in the world. Uh, well, that would be the Louvre. That is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait, wait, no, no, no. First, Eric has to read the book. Oh, no, no, no. I, I can't read any of that book. Oh, come on. We want to hear the book. Well, you know, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really have that much uh, more. <laughs> come on. All right. <laughs> All right, look, it's not finished. It's just another little bit I... Maybe I'll read it. I'll read it later. Maybe I shouldn't read the book. Just read the damn thing. <laughs> All right, ready? There's this woman. There's this woman. There's this woman. <laughs> My wish for her, the light airiness of a soft bubble. My desire for her, hot fire on back, sweet smile on purple pillow, the smell of her near. My hope for her, the safety of warm water all around, everywhere, forever, now. My prayer for her, her wish, her desire, her hope, her prayer. Moving, very moving. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's personal, it's intimate. Everything's turning out great. You wrote this amazing thing. You won second place in a photo contest. Richard's back in town. <laughs> Photographer, huh? Writer. <laughs> you were very good on that job. Really? I thought you were a genius. You did? Yeah, your performance was outstanding. Oh, thank you. I thought that you were very handsome. You look very thin and excellent in that show. Are those credits still running? Who are all these people? We're really funny. Was I, like, touching it all and poignant? Poignant, touching, funny. Oh, you did all that, yeah. Really? Yeah, so usually what happens at this part of the show, see, usually this part of the show is when they have, like, outtakes or bloopers, you know, when everything went wrong and they show you that, but nothing went wrong on our show. We did everything so perfectly. Yeah. I... 